Hello there, Virgo. It is so good to see you again. I'm Mary Sue, and I'm so grateful that you're here. So today we are doing your June love reading. So we'll take a look at the overall energies with the Oracle cards, and then we'll move to the Tarot for more details. And if you're enjoying the content that I create or resonating with the message, I'd really appreciate it if you would consider like, commenting, or subscribing. I really do appreciate all of your support. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Let's just jump right into it. Here you have go the distance. You know, I am not sure. I think all of the earth signs have had this card somewhere in their reading. Uh, really interesting, you know, looking for long-term committed relationships, you know, um, finally stepping into an energy of, you know, after a long time of perhaps just resting, of being by yourself, you know, uh, trying to figure out what it is that you want in love. You know, there's this energy of, okay, I'm ready to go after what it is. Um, because we have milk and honey. That's the 10 of cups. That's what you are wishing for coming true in the area of love. And, you know, with the, all that glitters, it could be that you are kind of like, it's like, this is what you're really wanting, but you're kind of hedging it, fudging it. You're kind of like, okay, this is what I really want, but you know, this is like a 10 and it's kind of like, yeah, but I'd settle for an eight. <laughs> Interesting energy. It's kind of like, no, <laughs> go for the 10, go for the 10. What is it that you truly want? And know that you deserve it, you know, know that it will be yours so interesting okay so let's see what we have community self-worth fifth dimension sacred space you know making a space that is sacred not for just you but for the person you're trying to attract into your life you know um, making space in your life for that person um, that means sometimes that you have to clear things out you know um, I think I've said on here before, you know, like if you're wanting to attract a new love into your life, just really getting into the energy of where are they going to be in your home, in your environment, uh, when it moves to that level, you know, so thinking about them actually being in your space and, you know, um, even, you know, clearing out a top drawer for them on their side of the bed that their end, uh, their, you know, side table, you know, um, really thinking about them being in your space and clearing that space out so that that space is available for new love to come in. Because I feel like, you know, we have community and self-worth. I feel like you have really worked on, you know, healing your heart being ready for new love. And I feel like this person is somehow already in your environment um, or your community or linked to somebody in your environment or community. So this could be a friend of a friend, you know, it could be a friend of a coworker, something like that. Some, somebody that I feel like you are already somehow making connection with, even if you don't aren't making connection with them in the 3D. It's the 5D. It's that energy of making space. I cannot stress that enough. Making space for this person to come into your life. Uh, you know, um, sometimes when we are wanting to attract in love, and then we sometimes maybe are asked out for a date or something like that. Suddenly we're like, oh, well, I don't have time for love. You know, it's kind of like we throw up the barriers, right? Because our heart has been broken in the past. So we're just trying to protect ourselves. It's almost as if you were being asked to even make time in your schedule for a new person, you know. Maybe time that you set aside for when you could date, even if you don't have a date. And maybe taking yourself out on a date, okay, during that time. Um, and just allowing that energy to start kind of growing because you do have the fifth dimension. You know, just really making space. They just keep saying make space for this person. Okay, so let's see what your romance angel is. Um, let's see what we have here. 
Let go of control issues worth waiting for, forgiving and learning, getting to know each other. Yeah, I feel like you have somebody new coming in. It is about, you know, once again, let go of control issues. I feel like you're you're, you're, there's some barriers, some boundaries that you have put up. And so I think by making space in your physical environment and also like in your time um, and your energy for this person is helping you to release the control that you have. Um, it's almost like helping you to move out of the excuse of I don't have time. I don't have energy for love by um, making this um, commitment to making space and time for this person, even if they don't exist. I know I'm repeating myself. That's such a strong message um, because this is somebody that was worth waiting for. This is somebody that is coming in that you are not going to want to have that excuse. I don't have time. I don't have space. <laughs> no, you can't come over to my house because, and you got some reason, you know. I haven't finished redecorating, you know, the the kitchen or whatever. You know, it's kind of like get those things taken care of so that you feel comfortable having this person come into your environment. Okay, so let's go to the trail. Let's get some details for this because I feel like this is a, a big thing for you. This is a new love. Yeah. Yes, there you go. Okay, the sun on the bottom. This person is helping to bring you a lot of joy, abundance, a feeling of worthiness. The blessings are coming your way. So your per present energy is the five of pentacles. You know, a feeling of lack. I don't have space in my home for another person. I don't have space in my life for another person. Um, I, 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 I'm giving out too much to my, to my work, to my friends, to my family. I don't have anything else to give. It's this energy of, I really, I want to say, they're saying, this is kind of like your fear that is giving you this excuse. It's almost like your, your, your fear of love is preventing you from stepping into the energy of creating the time, energy, and space for this person. Um, so let's see what we have here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Seven of Wands. It's like you're fighting this person back. Uh, and even, I know you, a lot of you don't even know this person yet. This person is trying to come in. We have the lover's card. You know, this person's energy is coming in. You you may be dreaming of being in love or you, you watch a romantic movie and you're like, yeah, I really want to be in love again. You know, wouldn't that be nice? So you're reading a book and you're like, yeah, that would be great. But the, the problem is, is that you're sabotaging it because you're kind of like, yeah, I'm fine by myself. I don't need love, right? I'm independent. I don't have any time or energy. You know, the, this is the nine of pentacles, the single lady card. Gender doesn't matter, but you know, just is working on her career, has enough money. She can go shopping, out with her friends, traveling. You don't have time or energy or space for somebody new in your life. And that is preventing you with the Five of Swords. But the Five of Swords is this energy of fear is, is kind of creating this energy of, well, I don't have time or space for somebody new. Because there's somebody wanting to come in. Here's the Knight of Cups. Somebody's wanting to come in and express their love to you. This is your area of resistance. This is what you are resisting, whether you realize it or not, because you, you're, you're just, you're shy. <laughs> you're shy. Um, you're afraid of being hurt. So you're actually creating a world where there is no time, energy, or space for somebody new. Um, yeah. Ace of Cups. Somebody wants to come in. We have the Queen of Pentacles. They feel like you are uh, this person. Once again, I don't think you know this person yet, but there's this energy of you, of them being good spouse material, of stepping into this world where everything is balanced. It could be a Libra coming in. Doesn't have to be. 
but you know an energy of this is somebody you want in your life you have the nine of cups the knight of cups i should say the knight of cups somebody that comes in and can express their emotions to you you know that wants to have something that is equal that is nurturing and balanced and and grounded that wants to step into your next chapter of life and it's this is what you're resisting you know you're saying I know Virgo, you're probably sitting there going, no, I'm not resisting it. You are whether you realize it or not because you are creating a world where you, you when somebody asks you out for a date, your first response is going to be, yeah, that would be nice. And then you go out on the date and they may even be nice, but you're sitting there going, yeah, but I don't really have time for romance. I don't have time for love right now. So just give it a thought because here is your advice. It's time for you to step into this next chapter. It is time for the world to turn in your favor. There is love and sun and abundance. We have a judgment card. You know, it could be even somebody from the past, but it's this energy of there is somebody coming in that wants to express their love. And it's almost as if you are... It's almost as if, yeah, it's, it's just an energy of, you know, we've all been there, right? We've all been there. Oh, I just don't have time for love. I have so much going on. My schedule is just completely full. I don't have time for love. Um, the, it could be even that this person reaches out to you and then, you know, they send you, say they send you a text, Okay hey, would you like to, you know, get coffee or something like that? And you're, and you may even have this like annoying, annoying type of energy going on up in your head. What? They, they think I have time for coffee, you know, or something like that. Or why are they texting me so late? You know, it's, it's almost as if you are judging them right from the onset, because it's, it's just your fear. And this is a good person, Virgo. <laughs> so maybe that's why you're getting this message, you know, that this is a good person. Um, this is somebody that you might really truly be interested in. So it's like, yeah, it's time to make a little space for this person. Yeah, there's the boundaries again. Eight of Swords, just up in your head, doubting yourself, doubting love, you know, after a long time. Just kind of like putting these barriers up. Nine of Wands. You, we put up the barriers because we have been hurt. There's no doubt about that. And I send you lots of love and hugs because of that. But you've healed, you know. So it's kind of like you're putting up the boundaries, um, your beliefs, you know. You're, it's almost as if you have so many excuses why not to be in love. That you're, you're blocking love from coming in. It's kind of like, well, um, you know, say somebody calls you up or texts you about going for coffee, right? And then you're kind of like, well, I think the first date should always be at least lunch. You know, it's like being so a little bit, it, it's really out of just trying to protect yourself. It's not necessarily that you really and truly believe that the first day, it's almost as if you are trying to make so many rules, so many high expectations of love or a love relationship that you almost could never be able to find a love relationship. And you're doing it out of some conscious. You're not doing it out of meanness or anger or hurt it is out of hurt it's out of fear of being hurt in the future but it's almost as if you have so many expectations of the person of a person of a love interest of a love verb that it's almost as if there's no one ever that can meet that expectation and it's time it's time to you you've protected yourself long enough it's almost like the universe is saying, come on, Virgo, you're good. We got your back. It's going to be okay. 
we're, we're putting somebody on your path. I think that your spirit guides and angels want you to know they're putting somebody on your path. This person coming in is specifically put on your path to help you to step back into the energy of love again, of romance, of opening your heart to somebody else. They know that you have been hurt. So they're not sending in. Um, this is a definitely you know, divinely guided. They're not sending in somebody that's going to hurt you. They're sending in somebody that will help you to transition into the new world. Even if this person is not like the person for the rest of your life. Okay. Um, it's somebody that's going to help you to transition into the world of opening your heart again, because you are going to have victory. You are going to be recognized you are going to be appreciated for who you are, Virgo. I think, you know, in the past, you've been in a lot of relationships that were highly judgmental, you know, judged you. So in a way, you may have moved into that energy and been and have become highly like scrutinizing of love interests because you are in some way being, uh, you are afraid of being judged by a love interest. So it's kind of like, well, I'm going to set the bar so high that nobody can meet that bar. I mean, this is all subconsciously, right? You're setting the bar so high, nobody can meet that bar, but then that prevents you from being judged, ridiculed, and perhaps abandoned. Really interesting energy because I feel like once again, your spirit guides and angels are coming in with this really sweet love. Okay, because they know in a way that your heart is still tender, but they also know that it's time for you to step into an energy of loving, loving others in a romantic way. And it's also going to help you to love yourself even deeper. Yeah, seven of cups, eight of swords, eight of cups, death. Okay, so I love this energy. I mean, the death card is Scorpio energy. You could be dealing with the Scorpio, but it is realizing that's, that you have ended a chapter, that you are walking into a new chapter of looking at love in a totally different way, of like turning your head and saying, okay, uh, in the past, I've been hurt, but now I'm going to move forward in a loving fashion. I'm not going to allow the confusion of love to block me, to allow me to be in this arena of self-doubt. I'm walking away from that. Those situations in the past were on your journey to help open you up. But you to, to learning how to love in a totally different way. And you're going to be victorious in it. This person is honestly uh, someone that is, it's okay. I, I think that's all they want you to say, you know, to know is that it's okay. It's okay. This person is okay. You're okay. <laughs> it's going to be okay. They just keep saying okay. All right, you kind of have two here, so I'm going to take these two. So this is your lover's oracle card. It says, beware of what you are projecting for the qualities you admire in one another, qualities you both possess equally. So the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. So it's about getting into this energy of a loving, whoever is coming onto your path, because if you're in a loving energy, you're loving and accepting of them and not highly judgmental, then they will be loving and accepting to you and not highly judgmental. Um, so whatever energy you are projecting when you're going out on a date or when somebody messages you about a date, right? If you initially go to, oh my goodness, why are they texting me at this time? Why do they wanna go to that coffee shop? I don't like that coffee shop, you know? Instead, say, wow, what a great opportunity to meet somebody new, right? And just leave it at that. Great opportunity to meet somebody new. I can't wait to hear about their life and I can't wait to share mine. Um, and just keeping it kind of like 
open, just open, just be open. That's all they're asking. Oh my gosh. And then look at this one. Romance. Cupid's arrow strikes. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I really get a good vibe with this, um, Virgo. I'm telling you, I really do. So it's about getting into your love space, <laughs> opening your heart, being light and airy with this, because I feel like this is, this, this, all I can say is sweet. I feel like this person is sweet. Um, and I know that's kind of a strange way to explain it, but I just feel like they're just a sweet soul. Um, and I feel like they've been hurt too. So I think, you know, there is this energy of being able to be sweet to each other. Yeah, really nice. All right, I'm going to leave it there. I do do personal readings. So if you're interested, the link is in the description box below. And I really do appreciate all your support of my channel. Um, liking, commenting, subscribing. I really do appreciate all of that. And I wish you so much love and light in this situation and in all of your situations. And I hope to see you again really soon. Bye for now.